ask graph is ultimately the key to figuring out prioritization questions, right? So first and foremost, what is ask graph? Let's figure that out. Well, everyone talks about ABCs. ABCs. What is ABCs? Airway, breathing, and circulation. But in real life, cool. But well, what about on the boards? Well, that's when I figured out a pattern. Airway, above all else. There is nothing more important than airway. So what does the rest of them mean? S is? Sepsis. So what do I mean by sepsis? Well, there's a triad. Less than 96.8 and above 100.4. Hypotensive and tachycardic. So if I told you this person was septic, you think I'm gonna give you all the triad? No. So now I tell you um, blood pressure is 60 over 30 and they have purulent discharge post-op. sepsis. But did I give you heart rate? No. Did I give you temperature? No. But I give you indication, logical deduction, critical thinking. Think like me. Think like a test maker. I want to see that logical deduction, critical thinking, right? That's sepsis. Potassium. Changes of. Does that mean only high potassium or low potassium? Both. So both of them are going to be indicative that something is wrong. Potassium is predominantly going to control what part of the heart? The ventricles. So when potassium is low or high, what are we worried about? Feed fin. Okay. What is a level less than 70? Less than 70. The R, authority or grunting in pediatrics. If we're concerned about a child, how are we going to describe them? Lethargy or grunting. A is for what? Altered mental status. Give me examples of that. Confusion, disorientation, seizure. Yeah. UTI leading to confusion. Yeah. P stands for? Peritonitis. What is the peritoneum? It encases what? Our abdominal and reproductive, right? So two times. So we got our GI and reproductive system that's encased by this. If something is going wrong, what are we gonna see? What are the words that we're gonna see? Abdominal rigidity, rebound. Tenderness, board like, right? These are the things, frag, I like that. And the last one, sorry, my pen is acting up, is hemorrhaging. So, what are we gonna see in hemorrhaging? Similar to sepsis, minus what? 
minus the hypothermic or febrile portion of it. So that's ask graph. So now people ask me, well, prioritization. Tell me we're gonna get this question right. <laughs> I love that. Tell me we're gonna get this question right. Yeah, all right. Because what is our prioritization are freaking out about? Ending. First, initial priority, urgent, most concerning, immediate report to HCP. So now, We've got a patient that we're going to assess first. So we got a report, priority first, initial priority, urgent, whatever. Who are we freaking out about? Start with number four. Do we make a decision? No. What do we do? We compare it to number three. Good. Because you don't know, but we'll we'll cancel one of them out. So we got post-op two days cabbage with an incisional pain of six. Whoa, two days cabbage, post-op six with an incisional pain of six. Okay, cool. Versus a head injury with a GCS of 14. Do any of those scare you? All right. This is one of those situations where I'm like, I'm not scared about you, and I'm not scared about you. Can we agree upon that? Am I freaking out about any of those? No. Nah. Now we go here. Now, whoops. <laughs> now we've got a client with a DVT on heparin drip of 1250 units with an APTT of 60 seconds. Wait a minute, what's the normal? Somebody tell me what the normal range is. Good, because where did we talk about that? Where did we talk about that? EKGs, good. So we talked about EKGs and versus a client admitted for coronary angiography in the past hour with back pain, hold up. Think about this, I got the DVT on a hep drip and APTT of 60, 60 is normal? Is it normal? Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, it is, it's normal. But the, oh, but they've got a DVT, but Dr. Z, they got a DVT. Now look, this is where the, the trick comes in. What are the two questions I'm gonna ask you when it comes to prioritization? We are already fixing it, right? So, so what more can we do? Nothing, nothing. We already got them on heparin, cool. And they're therapeutic, cool. And what are we freaking out about? Is there, is there any more that we can do? No, not right now. But this person came in with a, or they got admitted with a coronary angiography in the past hour. Look at the time. What do I say? Time, anatomical location, age, gender. Is it not given for a reason? Yeah, with back pain now? What are we worried about? Find me ask graph. Hemorrhage? All right, look, I don't know what, well, I don't even know what this is gonna say down here. Ready? So can we agree on hemorrhage? Hold on a second, let me continue on. Internal bleeding. Does all that say hemorrhage? It's all synonymous for hemorrhage, right? So find me Asgard, find me Asgard. 